Hello and welcome to part two of my Ratchet and Clank PS4 Let's Play. The plumber just helped me repair my ship, and now I'm going to fly to any mini mini mo Metropolis because I love this planet. It had the best music in the PlayStation 2 game. Oh no, I forgot you got to do that annoying flying segment. I completely forgot about it. No, I just want to show you guys the amazing planetary gameplay. But I forgot. Too late. Oh, well, that's my fault. Yes, yeah, too late. The invasion has started. Straight and I can't skip the cutscene. We need to find out what's happening on the ground. Attention, all units. The that, yeah, I was really looking forward to exploring the, he the Hall of Heroes. But as you'll see later, it's blocked off and you can never go in there. Cool. Let's... Come on, let's let's go. Wait, do they just like spawn in enemies rather than deploying them? That's cheating. Press. All right, I have uninverted the controls, I think. I mean, this is all very cinematic and cool, but I remember. Well, I assume I remember. <laughs> Uh, I remember from the early PlayStation 2 games, little segments like this that you couldn't skip were really annoying. And I remember, I mean, I, I assumed that when I played on the PS4, I had the same experience. I'm just trying to remember, I'm pretty sure it was similar, where you're just playing it through. You're trying to, you know, go through the game, having fun, and then, yeah, you have to get stopped and do a little segment like this. But I suppose you can't really complain, because it's part of the game, it's in the game. I mean, at least it's good, it's not terrible. Oh no, because at the same time, previous games had so much more to offer than, um, than this. Like, even I remember the Deadlock slash Gladiator ship levels. I mean, y you're flying around like a massive, a massive level doing stuff. Oh, the Ratchet and Clank 3 ones in Metropolis. Those were the best. Wait, actually, no, they were quite boring. Anyway, I don't want to keep comparing this game to the originals throughout my entire playthrough. Woohoo! Do a barrel roll. If we could propel a war bot at the ship with sufficient velocity. Yeah, I suppose Ratchet and Clank are like best buds already. Oh. Awesome. Sorry if I keep saying oh, but I keep remembering all these random bizarre little moments from when I played this the first time. Like the fact that I kept dying and because after a cutscene, it would automatically spawn me like facing a wall or a building, so I would die. Or not die, but I went from 100% health to like 10% health instantly. How do I shoot them? Wow! That's voice acting! Why... Why... Would they... Like, what are they doing here? What were they doing on that ledge I just picked them up? They're just standing there, shooting at nothing. Release! Why does that sound familiar? Is that from Yu-Gi-Oh or something? I don't know. Hang on a second. Captain Quark just called me a ranger. Am I a ranger already? Did Ratchet achieve his dream? We're only on like the third level. How many of these guys can we pick up at once? Wow, this is a lot easier than I remember. Then again, I'm pretty sure last time I had like inverted flight controls and all that jazz. Still not dead. Man, James Arnold Taylor and Kenny Bake. Oh crap, I can't remember the guy who does Clank. Kevin Blum. Oh man. I can't remember. I feel so bad for not being able to remember the voice of Clank off the top of my head. But anyway, they have nailed their characters. I suppose you would do after like 14 games of voicing them. Oh my goodness. This, this planet though. I'm a, I'm a bit, not upset, I don't really care, I don't notice these things, but like, I'm a bit gutted about the, fla the flame rate. Yeah, the flame rate. The, the frame rate. It, uh, it's fine in that, but when you turn, rotate the camera really fast, there's motion blur on the old PS4, I, I think on the PS4 Pro, and if you've got like a fancy 4K TV, it doesn't do that. Oh, that definitely wasn't some flame, flame rate again! I love this. 
pretty sure this is the what they used for the trailer of Tools of Destruction when that was first announced. Oh my gosh. Those graphics though. Mm -mm. Top notch. More enemies on approach. I do recall there was a not skill point, they don't have skill points in this game, which kinda sucks, but there was a trophy for destroying all the lamps in the city. And I was so excited about making trophy guides for this game, I was gonna, because I, I loved the Ratchet and Clank series, and that's what a lot of my subscribers, you guys, you're awesome, really liked. They subscribed to me because of Ratchet and Clank, and I was going to make Ratchet and Clank trophy guides, but then all um, Powerpix already did them because they, oh, where these guys come from? The game came out a week earlier in like the US, I think it was actually like more like two weeks. See what they're shooting at. Ow, rude. Hey guy, let's just stand here shooting at that wall over there. Maybe they're trying to find like a super secret developer Easter egg. Oh, those buggers are resilient. Is he four of them and he's still alive? Fourth time's the charm. Wow, they 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 sure shot that building to pieces. Trespasser required. Fair enough. So yeah. What was I saying? I was just talking about how I I was looking forward to doing trophy guides for this game. Rolling in dim, sweet Ratchet and Clank views. But alas, I was beat to it by several other channels who got the game weeks earlier. And thus, my dreams were crushed. No, I'm just kidding. Being silly. Oh, he was still alive. Oh! Count the times I... Oh, someone recommended I do a challenge while watching this. How about this? Take a shot of apple juice every time I go, Oh, because I remember something. This is making me sad because I remember when you beat the game. Oh, not when you beat the game. Every time you beat a level, like, most of the enemies disappear. So I'm having, like, all this epic battle and taking on enemies and it's all super fun. But when you come back to the planets to gather, like, remaining bolt, the <laughs> cracking eye... When you come back to the planets to collect remaining bolts and stuff, there's barely any enemies. That's another thing I remember from IGN's stupid review. Is like the enemy, the levels feel feel barren. The levels feel barren and bare because you'd run all the way from there to here, and you just saw me take on like what 20 enemies, and there'll be none. There might be like two dudes around the corner, and that'll that'll be it. Which is a real shame because. It makes leveling up your weapons a little bit harder. But not because of um, difficulty, but just because of lack of enemies. Oh, I saw you glitching out there. We all saw you. Wow. That sound effect. I'm pretty sure I died here for the first time on my first playthrough because I couldn't avoid the bleeding chopper. I, yeah, I mean, look at... I mean, you can't just strafe to avoid... Which, in a lot of situations, you can. Even sometimes jumping, like, they'll just get, like, a random hit on you. I remember I was watching a friend of mine play this, and he was, he was, he was doing what you do in, like, Nexus and Q-Force and stuff. You're strafing and shooting and jumping and stuff. But he'd still get hit, like I just did then. Like, I'm doing, I'm doing all I can. It's not like a, a third-person cover shooter where you can just jump behind a chest-high wall and avoid fire. You're out there in the open, getting shot at while you're shooting at the enemies. So, when they can hit you at random... I mean, look. Look at that, the arc of that fire. Oh, what was I saying about chest high wall? <laughs> Die! Finally. If I died there, I'd be embarrassed. I'm not going to skip this one because I'm pretty sure there's a reference to some of their other properties there. Some of the Insomniac Games other ones. They have my blaster runs hot. Mongoid with a stick. Oh, Sparrow the Space Moose. They even have the mega limited ultra edition of Intransigence Fall of Blar. That one comes with exclusive content if you pre-order through Gadgetron. Does it now? Oh my gosh, what have they done to Al? What's with the facial hair? He looks like a really old dude, but he's got the same voice. Okay, skip that. Props to giving him the same voice, but seriously! The facial hair, man! I like the reference to, obviously, the game, the mini game from Kraken Time. Pretty sure that's supposed to be Sly, even though it's made by Sucker Punch. Then we've got Spyro the Dragon and Resistance Fall of Man. 
Alright, I'm going to backtrack to a secret area, so allow me to fast forward through that. Booyah, secret area. Again, prior knowledge of the PlayStation 1 game helped me out a great deal while looking for all the collectibles in this game. Is that supposed to be a reference to something? The Hydrolyzer, maybe? Oh, uh, I keep thinking they're going to be Gong Bolts or Rhino cards, but they're just regular bolts. I mean, regular cards. Which I suppose aren't terrible. Um, there's rare titanium around here, right? There we go. You got rare titanium. I wonder why they went with that accent for the um, the vendor, vendor owners. That's something that just popped into my head for some reason. Do you guys remember the very first game how it had the the green alien as the vendor owner? Yeah, whatever happened to that guy? By the way, if you don't like this noise that the Halipack makes, I'm very sorry because there's going to be a lot of that in this game. It might be better when you get the thruster pack, but I like to, you know, I'd rather not just run slowly like this. If I can get through the level faster, I'd rather do that, so... My apologies if anyone finds that noise irritating. Stop watching now, because there's going to be a lot of it. Oh, there we go. More rare titanium, thank you. Where is a vendor? There was probably one back there. Eh, it's too far away. Sure, I backtracked for ages to get to the secret area, but I won't go back a couple of steps to get to the... to get to the vendor to upgrade my stuff with Ruritanium. Die pot plants. I remember there was a trophy or an achievement. Ah, uh, skill point. Stand underneath the statue. But there is no statue anymore. What happened to Al's RoboShack statue? That's cool. The camera automatically subtly turns down there to let you know that that's where you're meant to go. Alright, so we'll go flamethrower to take out the little um, robot dog guys. You were saying. <laughs> Good luck, Lombax. You ain't. We are not far from the train station. The train station. Alright. Man. That's a, that's, a, that's a question to leave down in the comments. I'm not just saying that to fill in time. I'm genuinely curious. You there watching this, what are some games, if you played video games as a child, that have like some serious like nostalgic memories to or like trigger memories when you play games? For me personally, I remember this level in Ratchet and Clank 1 on the PlayStation 2. I don't know why this comes to mind, but I remember playing this level on the demo disc and my mother would listen to the radio, so I remember a lot of early 2000s songs while I play this level. There's a song by, I'm pretty sure it's Blink-182, I don't know why, I just remember because it had really weird lyrics. And I remember hearing it one time while I was playing this, this level in the PlayStation 2 version. And for some reason, ever since, every time I play this, this game, or this level, I get that song popping in my head. Bizarre, right? But does anyone else have that? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to my Patreon. Oh, that was that was a that was a bad joke. I don't have a Patreon. Has my combustor leveled up? It has, but it's just not strong. Just fair enough. Alrighty, get that nanotech. Woo! Now, with my prior knowledge of the Ratchet and Clank series, is anything to go by? I do declare oh, that is. A gold bolt over here. All that just be another. What do you call it? Another. Oh no, it is! It is a gold bolt! Yay! Pretty. I was thinking it was going to be another pack of cards. Let's savor the moment. <laughs> okay, sometimes Quark's little uh, interludes can be a bit funny. Why is there a hidden giant statue of him? Actually, that's probably the the joke, is that the uh, the statue was hidden all the way out here. Oh, that's exactly what Quark just said! Wow! Ha ha ha! Did I write this game? Did I write this game? Hmm. And there's also one up there as well. Do I need to 
I remember you used to have to, in the first game, that was pretty cool, you had to save the boxes where up until this point the whole game you're just breaking crates, getting bolts, and then all of a sudden you reach an area where you need to not destroy the, the crates so you can jump up and get the gold bolt. If he hits me I'm going to be very disappointed. Oh, jump, 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 yay! Health? Anyone? Nope, just more cards. Crud. Health? Nanotech? Oh dear. Yes, nanotech! Thank you, just what I needed. I'm getting my butt kicked in this game. Or my tail kicked. So this is his, uh, his outfit from All For One. Right? I think that was the first game he, he used this outfit in, I'm pretty sure. Which is also the outfit of the little stuffed ratchet, uh, well, just the stuffed ratchet toy that I use in pretty much all my Ratchet and Clank videos. Reference! The A-Train? The anti-gravity train? <gasps> what does it mean? It's Dan Johnson. R.I.P. Someone's car alarm is going off outside, that's a pain. Um. Oh, there you go. On, sure Whee! <laughs> oh, this is cool. Was this, I believe this was possibly the first, or one of the first, bits of the game, bits of gameplay they showed off to, like, market the new game. They were like, hey, check out what we've done to the uh, the A-Train section. Because originally it was just a bunch of platforms with a couple of enemies on it. Impossible to hit enemies because you're constantly going around corners and all you've got is either the blaster or the rocket launcher. I don't know. I don't know it's, yeah, well, anyway. I'm going to die, aren't I? Yeah, I'm going to die. That sucks. Oh, thanks. Thanks, bouncer, for just... Come on. If I get hit once, I'm going to die. And I'm gonna have to fast forward the gameplay if I die. I hope that didn't cost too much. You know what, Ratchet? I was about to say something similar. I was about to say, geez, I hope I'm, sure <laughs> I'm not gonna have to pay for all this <laughs> damage. Fish. Wow, I really did write this game. This is so cool. I cannot stop and get distracted by the scenery, but if I may for a moment. Wow. The whole city is just alive, living, breathing. Trying to think what's my favourite Metropolis. There you go, that's another another audience interaction question. Fans of the series, what's your favourite version of Metropolis? Is it the original from Ratchet & Clank 1? Is it the return to Metropolis from Ratchet & Clank 3 up your arsenal? Is it the Metropolis we see in Tools of Destruction where you start the game? If you haven't played that and you have a PS3, go onto the PlayStation Store right now and just download the demo for Tools of Destruction. It's just the Metropolis level and it is amazing. Like, it, 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 it's beautiful. I mean, obviously, it's, it doesn't compare to these graphics now, but when it first came out, I remember looking at it like, wow. Just wow. I was amazed at how good the, uh, the game looked on PS3. So, oh, or this Metropolis, that's what I was asking. Pretty sure that's the, um, oh, great. Helicopter. Lovely. Pretty sure that's the four Metropolises. I don't recall Metropolis from Secret Agent Clank or Size Matters. I was about to say Quest Booty, but no, that's pretty much all on an island. And Skull Cove and yada yada. Alrighty. If there are people watching this that haven't played the previous games, I apologise that you don't understand all the references to the previous games that I'm talking about. Oh, crud. Should I say, oh, Clank. Clunk! There you go. Okay, is he shooting me through the wall? How? Why are you here? That's cheating. Go away. Mm. Don't kill me! I'm innocent! Oh. I'm glad there's no time limit on this segment. I just realized if there was a time limit on this segment, I would be SK Rude. That spell's screwed. I know it doesn't just go with it. Um. Uh. Mm. 
No, I can't hit him. Oh! Sorry. Sorry if this, this particular part here isn't super entertaining, but I don't want to die this close to the end. What? 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 What you say? Oh, that you only meant well, well, of course you did. What the what? Alrighty then. Ignore that. I still want to know what killed me. Oh, I just realised because I'm not paying attention to the story. Uh, what was I saying? Because I wasn't paying attention to the story. Do we know that that's a um, bomb? Ah, yes, the old Q Force outfit. Well, not not Q Forces in the game, but Q Forces in the Galactic Rangers. Ah, this is what I was referring to when I spoke earlier of the Hall of Heroes being blocked off. Because it's it seems like a pretty important place, but you, you can't get in there. I got all kinds of stuff to make heroes more I got all that. No. No, Zircon. No. I know you're like a fan favorite and everyone loves you and you're basically a meme, but... I... <sighs> just kind of over Zircon. Kind of. I mean... You have to, he's in too many games. Ah, brace yourself for a mini rant, people. Another thing that I was disappointed in this game is the lack of original weapons. I was really looking forward to either seeing a lot of the weapons and guns from Ratchet and Clank 1 make a return, or a reimagining, if you will, but instead we get like a greatest hits collection, like the combustor from insert any Ratchet and Clank game ever and stuff. Uh, the bouncer was, I guess, a nice reference, but... Off the top of my head, I'm pretty sure that the pixelizer is the only the only weapon that's new to this game. Are you ready to get started? Then let's go. Why are you so violent? Can I blow him up? Like in the first one? Nope. <laughs> that's not the real Captain Quark, you numbskull! It's a robot! Oh. <laughs> Childhood me laughed at that part. How sad is that? The summit of justice. I love it. Am I supposed to? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that was close. No, I know there's a skill point. No, I keep forgetting there are no skill points in this game, and that sucks. But I do recall there being a trophy. Pretty sure it was silver as well for doing this whole course in a certain amount of time. But it wasn't even hard. It was like. A really long time. Well, at least he had plenty of time to fall and stuff. That's okay. I'm going for the bolt anyway. Actually, no, it's probably not a bolt. It's probably just a a pack of cards. Oh goody! I hope I get the blue eyes white dragon. Ah, reference. Congratulations! You conquered the tower of power. Head to the main um. Well, I'm kind of wanting to compare this to the original Ratchet and Clank's Metropolis, but at the same time, I don't want to because they are two very different things. But it, and they both have their strengths and weaknesses. But at the same time, I don't know. I probably actually like this one better just because it's... Actually, no, they put a giant tree where the camera goes. Thanks. The camera goes directly into a giant tree. What am I, a koala? <laughs> Alrighty, I'm pretty sure that's going to be the end of part two. Actually, I haven't checked my clock. I know I had to stop recording prematurely er earlier because I died. So, for all I know, I've only been going for about 20 minutes. Hey! I win! Oh my goodness, just look! You got the train going on! Vehicles flying by! And everyone thinks... People might think this is like impressive for the PS4. This is nothing. They had well, no, no it is. It is a technical marvel and an achievement. But they had this in the PS2, and there was a video. Yeah, I win. There was a video like the Out of Bounds games where they 
I don't know how they do it, but they, you know, like, go, they just have, like, a, like, a, a free roaming camera where they can go around entire levels of games and stuff, and everything was rendered in in the original Ratchet and Clank. The whole of Metropolis was just there, and it was amazing. It was so impressive. Like, I was watching it, there's just vehicles flying around everywhere. All the buildings are rendered in. There's no, like, texture pop-ins or anything like that. Everything's just there, and it's amazing, and I, I know it'll be the same here. I'm not sure about Ratchet and Clank 3 or Tools of Destruction, but... And that was back on the PS2! Yay. Stuck in a taxi. Our heroes paused and gazed upon the mighty statue of... me. Nope. Since you're now... one of us... Eh, uh, skip cutscene. Congratulations, cadet. You Skip cutscene. I wish I could be there to see you off, but I have an urgent appointment with my acumen. Yeah, blah 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 blah. Uh, skipping cutscenes because we are going to a new planet before skipping to part three. We're well, not skipping to part three. Required rescue skid McMarks. Alright. Part three will be on planet Iridia. Very exciting. An exciting planet Iridia. <laughs> not really, just a bunch of, I don't know, swampy goo. But this is the end of my Ratchet and Clank Let's Play Part 2. I'd like to thank you guys very much for watching. If you've got any feedback for me, just leave it in the description below. Leave it in the description. Leave it in the comments below. Any feedback, any suggestions, anything like that. Remember the questions I asked during this video? Off the top of my head, let's see if I can remember them. I'm pretty sure I asked what was your favourite Metropolis. And, ah yes, what games gave you major, major deja vu or triggered childhood memories and stuff like that. All right. Thank you all very much for watching. Check out part three, and I'll see you next time.